Oklahoma State moved up to number eight in the rankings this week. Saturday, they have a late nighter against Tulsa. Caden has more on the Cowboys. In his first three seasons as head coach, Mike Gundy's Cowboys won a total of five road games. Last season alone, this team went 5-0 and on the road and overall has won nine of its last ten. How have they done it? Well, better players, better focus, and an us-against-the-world approach. You know, you're up around 120 people on your sideline, and it's us against everybody else. And you have to stay strong, you have to support each other, your attitude, your body language, your demeanor is very, very important on the road. I think we're just uh, just oblivious to, to what goes on outside the white lines. I think um, we're not really wrapped up in, in how big the crowd is or how loud it gets or, or any of that. I think we're just uh, focused on winning the game and, and uh, it worked out for us last year. So hopefully we can continue that into this year. But with OSU's T-Town following, this road game should be a little different than most. I'm kind of excited to see how much orange you know shows up. I know there's a lot of OSU fans there in Tulsa, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can at least go half and half. There's such a big uh, following in the Tulsa area that it becomes another home game for them. Essentially, they can get there easy, 20, 30 minute drive, and um, I'm guessing they'll be tailgating with their friends. So it's very fan friendly. Shaq, the Cowboys and Golden Hurricane kicking off sometime after 9 p.m. Saturday. What players and coaches think of that late start tonight at 10. From here in Stillwater, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. Young Caden, that's past your bedtime. As for Tulsa, a win against the Cowboys would turn both universities upside down. But the Golden Hurricane head coach is not shy about saying OSU has the best offense around. At least to date, maybe the, the most, uh, certainly the best collection of, of weapons that we've seen. Uh, Oklahoma was really good, but I, I would think that the, maybe the collection of all the different receivers and running backs that, that uh, Oklahoma State brings to the table is certainly very impressive. LSU, they have a great team this year. Um, players like their tackle, number two in the nation, I believe. They've got black men. I mean, they've just got a lot of choices, and, you know, that's a, that's a big thing to look at from a defensive point of view. Oklahoma State definitely has more athletes, but miracles have happened. Over at 11th and Harvard. Yeah, you never know. Mm. But, you know, OSU has a lot of weapons. They also have a lot of uniform choices. So we actually see what they come <laughs> it in. Is. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what they roll out. <laughs> they they got to need a fashion police over there.